Welcome to The Lift. All this week we've been talking about ourselves and how we constantly compare ourselves to other people and try to get what they have and try to do what they're doing and how that's not what God wanted us to do. He created us to be us for a specific purpose in a specific place and he's looking at our hearts. Now for the past three weeks we've talked about different topics. We talked about life circumstances and how the things that just happen to us can make this world seem really dark. And we talked about how our relationships, our friendships can sometimes make this world seem really dark because people will let us down. Then last week we talked about how sin and the, the poor choices that we make can sometimes fill this world with darkness and how it can make us feel that that's what we were destined for. And then all this week, we've talked about comparing ourselves to others. Hey everyone, this is Peyton Wardlow, and I'm here to talk with you a little bit about a time in my life that um, I felt like I kind of dis disappointed myself. Um, I, I really did feel like a disappointment uh, to not only myself, but uh, my parents as well. Um, I grew up in, in your typical uh, suburb household outside Louisville, Kentucky, and um, we weren't by any means poor, we weren't by any means rich, um, but we were rich in values. And um, my parents taught me lots of lessons and morals um, to live my life by and um, to make me who I am today. And today I am here, a, a graduate of Western Kentucky, and the time I'm going to talk to you about is um, my sophomore year in college. Um, I was fortunate enough to have my parents pay for school and very thankful and appreciative. Um, the least I could do was try my hardest and get good grades to, to make it in four years. And uh, in Kentucky we have what's called keys money and if you make good grades then they the state gives back to you. And um, my parents really counted on me to, to make good grades and do what I could. Um, to earn my keep kind of while they're paying for me to get an education. In my sophomore year, I kind of let my grade slip and it fell right just below the mark where I didn't make my keys money for one semester. And I was really kind of down on myself because I knew that they were giving so much of their uh, money and, and time and, and they worked for me to go to school and here I am and uh, I barely missed, I couldn't even make the keys money for, for my education, so that was the only thing I had to do, but the reason I felt disappointed with myself is because um, I knew I could do better. Um, I was really down on myself, and, and I knew I let them down, my parents, and uh, I knew I could do better, so what I did was I used that as fuel, and the only time it's okay to get disappointed in yourself is if you, if you turn it around to make it positive in the long run. So the only reason that you are disappointed in yourself is because you know on the inside you can do better. So if you use that failure, if you call it, as fuel to improve yourself, then, then it's okay. I turned around, I made the gr best grades I would made yet that next semester and got my keys money and felt confident in myself. My parents weren't disappointed in me. Um, they know college is rough and it's, and it's tough, it's difficult, but I was disappointed in myself and I used that to do better the next semester. And that's what it's all about. If you feel down on yourself and you're disappointed, then you know you can do better and you're gonna use that as fuel to do better the next time. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Remember, strength is more than muscles. This is The Lift. Today, I want to ask you if you would share your story about how you have overcome darkness in any of those ways, whether it was through your circumstances, whether it was through your relationships or your sin, or even just examining yourself. We want to hear your stories. So there's links below on how you can share with us the things that have impacted your life and how you have changed. And now you know that you were not destined for darkness. Whether it was because of the lift or because of anything else, we want to hear your story. So share it with us. And join us again on Monday for our new series. But remember always, you were not destined for darkness. God did not create this world to be dark and he did not create you to live in a dark place. He created you for light and if we can remember that, then
then this world will get a little bit brighter for everyone. We hope that you'll take the time to share your stories with us. We would love to hear them and we'd love to interact with you because of that. We will see you again on Monday. Until then, remember you are not destined for darkness. Strength is so much more than muscles. This is the lift.